Hi everyone, welcome to another video. This is Srujan from Taste Tech Harbor. So here I have made a small prototype uh, which is an automatic hand sanitizer dispenser. Uh, so this, uh, you should, it actually works on the infrared sensor. So if there is any obstacle in front of it, so it just actuates the motor and it pumps out whatever is filled in this container. So uh, presently I am using soap. You can also use hand sanitizer for it. This model is particularly built for uh, this hand wash dispenser so this can also be upgraded or altered uh, with the minor changes in the design and it can also be used for Dettol the other different kind of uh, the dispenser what we use at home so basically this is like a customizable one let me show you guys how I built this hand sanitizer dispenser So the first thing what I did was I took the dimensions of the hand wash I had and I built a CAD model around it. So this CAD model has a servo motor block wherein it holds a servo motor and a block where the IR sensor sits. And so this is the, the cover for the IR sensor. So if there is any spill of water, it should not go into the electronics. So this is the cover for it. And so this is the cover which covers the servo motor block wherein the electronics and the microcontroller sits inside. Once the 3D model was done, I saved the three files into the STL file and then I loaded the STL file into the Creality software where we do the slicing. Those slicing is then converted to the G-code file and then we load the G-code file into the 3D printer. So as you can see on the screen, uh, the model is getting printed. So side by side, we'll start with assembling the electronics and coding of the microcontroller. So here we have a Nano, Arduino Nano. So this has a 328 Atmega 328 controller and this works with mini B USB cable instead of the standard one what we use. The Arduino which I got uh, did not have the air pins solder to the board but I had to solder it. So here you can see how I soldered the, the header pins to the Arduino Nano. So meanwhile, I would like to give more facts about this Arduino Nano. As I already told you, it, it has a microcontroller at Mega328 and this has operating voltage of 5 volts. And also you can take a 3, it has also 3.3 volts and 5 volts output which you can use it, use for the external devices what you connect to it or the external components, sensors, etc. And this has a clock speed of 16 megahertz. On total, this has 30 pins and out of which 22 pins are digital I.O. pins and out of 22, 6 are PWM and it has an 8 analog pins. So finally, all the pins are soldered and the microcontroller is ready for programming. So here the 3D model is getting printed and once it is printed, we'll just assemble the Nano, the Arduino Nano into it and the servo motor and also the IR sensor. In case you need the STL file, the circuit diagram and the code, you can mention your email ID in the comment or you can contact me from the website or the blog which is mentioned in the description. Once the 3D model is completed, we need to remove all the support elements which was printed. So now I'll be removing all the support elements. So this is just a prototype. So this can be made more cost effective by reducing the support element which is being printed. So this was printed with 55% of density. So the density can be decided based on the required strength. So now I've removed all the support elements. So now the next step is to just start assembling the components inside it. So these are the components which is required for the automatic hand sanitizer dispenser. So here we have the dispenser. So now I'll be showing you how to assemble this. I have installed the servo motor, the IR sensor and the Arduino Nano into the 3D printed module. So here is the IR sensor which is facing to the front. Yeah, so here I've given an option where you can plug the USB mini that is USB mini B to power the servo motor as well as the Arduino Nano. And it can also be used for programming. You need not remove the complete unit outside and do the programming. So all the wiring and the Arduino Nano and the motor is hidden inside the block so that it looks cleaner. The wiring to the IR sensor goes from the bottom so that it will not be seen on the top. And this has a MG995 servo motor 
and which is of 9.4 kg per centimeter at 4.8 volts and 11 kg per centimeter at 6 volts so this is actually a very good uh, metal gear uh, servo motor and the arms for it also comes with the servo motor so need not worry about the arms so here we have the cover which i made uh, for the IR sensor so that if you spill water on it the water will not come in contact with the the circuit inside let's start fixing the top mount into the dispenser so it is a kind of a press fit you just have to press it so it fits quite tight So here we have a 2mm hole wherein you put the screw of the holder which I showed you previously so that the top mount doesn't come out when the motor actuates. So what happens here is when the, um, the servo motor actuates when it presses the dispenser what happens it has a tendency that the top the top mount which comes out which comes up. So here uh, we have made a, another a clamping kind of thing to it so that you can clamp it to the base that is the it holds the base with the top mount so this is the clamp what i was talking about which i'll be mounting to the top mount and uh, it will hold the dispenser below Yeah, here I'm using a USB adapter to power the circuit. Yeah, now the prototype is completely ready. So let's get it started. We have completed the hardware setup. So let's get into the code which has to be dumped into the microcontroller. So here you can see the complete code. This is a very basic code which I have written in which the sensor pin that is the sensors, the IR sensor signal pin is connected to the D7 pin and this, the signal pin of the servo motor is connected to the D6 pin. So the sensor sensor which is mounted that's the IR sensor which uses 3.3 volts uh, which these pin is available on the Arduino Nano and uh, I have connected 5 volts pin to the servo motor uh, so the servo motor is running at 5 volts so now coming into the main loop wherein uh, if the value is 0 if that is if there is any obstacle in front of the IR sensor so the the motor starts rotating in clockwise direction uh, for 650 milliseconds uh, for 50 values and then uh, for it returns back that is it rotates anti-clockwise for 400 milliseconds so uh, so that is why it lifts the arm up once it is pressed so if the value is 1 then the servo motor is detached that is there is no obstacle in front of it yeah once uh, the code is complete you can start uploading it to the microcontroller and let's see how it works
Yeah, so this product actually can be made cost effective by reducing the support materials which is used while printing. And also you can make it more compact as the, the servo motor casing is taking a lot of space. And, and this can also be used in different kind of uh, hand sanitizer or the hand soap dispensers with the minor changes. As this is a contactless dispenser, this can be used in factories, industries and also in restrooms. Thank you guys for watching this video hit the like button if you like and please do subscribe and if you have any queries please put in the comment section below thank you so much bye bye see you in the next one